A lot of people always ask me, why don't you change it to Lost Girl? But I think a girl singing Lost Boy just made it so much more of a metaphor instead of an actual Peter Pan song. I really didn't want it to be just about Peter Pan and Neverland. I actually wanted it to be more than that. So the inspiration behind Lost Boy was actually a TV show called Once Upon a Time. That show was all about like fairy tales and the season that I would happened to binge watch was all about Peter Pan. So after I'd finished watching it, I went down to my keyboard and I was kind of just singing random fairy tale lines. The one that kept coming back was, I am a lost boy from Neverland, you should hang out with Peter Pan. And I happened to record that on my phone. And I listened to it and I was like, yeah, this is cheesy, I'm not posting this. Like literally, I was so close to deleting it. But then a week later, I kept like singing that same line in my head, so I decided to post it to Vine. And it got a really big reaction and that's what like inspired me to write the song. Um, everyone was kind of saying, we want to hear more, we want to hear more. So for a day, I would add a new line every single day. And eventually I had a chorus and I was like, okay, this needs to turn into something more. So I kind of sat down and wrote it. And I think when I made that initial vine, it was just something catchy about Peter Pan and pixie dust. But when I sat down to write it, I really wanted to make it more and keep it real and as relatable as I could. There was a time when I was alone nowhere to go and no place to call home. I think there's so many points where you feel this way, whether it's like the first day at a new school, first day at a new job, I've been through that many times. And um, I always like had that feeling where, especially when I started at a new school, um, my last year of high school, I actually moved schools and like had to make new friends and, and everything. And I remember then the first day just feeling like alone and you know, kind of looking for a home in your environment. So yeah, I guess that's where I went to when I was writing that part. My only friend was the man in the moon, and even sometimes he would go away too. Then one night, as I closed my eyes, I saw a shadow flying high. He came to me with the sweetest smile, told me he wanted to talk for a while. He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me. I promise that you'll never be lonely. And ever since that day, I don't even remember the first time I heard about Peter Pan simply because I grew up on fairy tales. Um, but Peter Pan was always a favorite of mine just because I love the idea of never growing up and remaining youthful forever, which is something that's, I think, gotten lost over time. Everybody wants to grow up, and so definitely kept that in mind when I was writing the song. I am a lost boy from Neverland, usually hanging out with Peter Pan. And when we're bored, we play in the woods, always on the run from Captain Hook. For me, when I wrote it, it's more just about going from being lonely and finding yourself in something. It doesn't have to be a person. It can be a passion. Like for me, my Peter Pan is my piano. Like that's where I go to when I'm lonely or when I'm lost. And that's where I find myself. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Away from all of reality. My escape for reality has genuinely always been my piano. Um, always been music, whether I'm extremely happy, extremely sad, mad, excited, scared, anything. Especially now that I've really taken into writing. Anytime I'm pouring myself out, onto a piece of paper, that's when I feel away from reality and kind of in my own space. Neverland is home to lost boys like me, and lost boys like me are free. Neverland is a place where you feel free, I guess, and feel at home and any place that makes you just feel yourself. He sprinkled me in pixie dust and told me to believe. Believe in him and believe in me. That's a huge part of Peter Pan, that's like his thing. Um, so I definitely thought I should incorporate a little bit of the classic in there. There's definitely times where you have to believe in yourself, and I think for the most part it's always been me about believing in myself. I try to stay away from the reassurance of others because when you don't get that, you feel bad. So I feel like just believing in myself has been um, my refuge in getting through all of this. Together we will fly away in a cloud of green to your beautiful destiny. As we soared above the town that never loved me, I realized I finally had a family. Soon enough, we reach Neverland. Peacefully, my feet hit the sand. And ever since that day, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy Darling, even Captain Hook, you are my perfect storybook. Yeah, that's my favorite line. I think that's a very important concept in life that even your hardships are a big part of your story and your failures are what make, you know, the successes so much better. And I've always been about that. Like, I'm not afraid to go out and fail, get my heart broken, whatever it is, because I see the beauty in that. My dad always grew up, growing up, he told me my brother, there's always beauty from pain. So you gotta grind to make it. And even like the downfalls, they play a big part in your story. Neverland, I love you so. You are now my home sweet home, forever a lost boy at last.